today there's nothing we love more than a bit of action on a Saturday night. From feats of strength and agility... Beautiful. Yes! Beautiful. ..through to epic fails... Oh. ..and moments of pure elation. It's all very different to the 1990s when our action came from across the Atlantic. And a Saturday night show that brought together action and glamour in a California dreamland. There's something very appealing about a sunny California beach and eye candy. Beautiful men and women. It's a no-brainer. You don't have to figure out the point. With a cast including Knight Rider's leading man, David Hasselhoff... Hi. I'm CJ. ..and butts and blonde bombshell Pamela Anderson, Baywatch's success was assured. The lifeguards were never like that in Southport. <laughs> Didn't really watch all that as a family, did we? No. Yeah, the girls would leave and the guys would I tried to get that on my, po on my portable in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Baywatch was a perfectly Saturday night show for kids and their mums and dads. It's escapism. And that's what you want on a Saturday night. Baywatch was based on the heroics of the actual lifeguards of Malibu Beach. So the actors who portrayed them really did have to stay in shape. Off Tower 18, all available units. There was a clause in all our contracts, included the men and the women, that said that we couldn't gain more than five pounds from the weight at which we were cast. And this was because in the first season, one actor was so woohoo, I think because he got the part that he partied his way uh, like 10, 15 pounds heavier. Many remember Baywatch for its sexy, smoldering, slow motion action scenes. But did you know there was a skill to getting them just right? Because I'm kind of competitive, I always wanted to run fast when they were shooting them. But you can't run fast when you're shooting slow-mo because then your cheeks go up and down. <laughs> we like smooshing your face. You actually have to run slow in slow-mo. So that's the trick. Every week, millions of us tuned in for the sun, sea, sand and sexy bodies of Malibu. But life wasn't all it seemed. I hate to burst the bubble, the Brit bubble, but it looks very sunny and the skies are blue and everybody's sweaty. But in terms of filming Baywatch, we started in January. It was freezing. So we just had huge lights to make everything look really hot and sunny and water sprayers to look sweaty and you act you act your butt off literally i can't do this anymore <laughs> freezing in the early 90s itv again turned to america for another hit but this time involving real life superheroes I remember showing it to my two young sons at that time, saying, what do you think about this American show called American Gladiators? And they were thrilled by it. And I thought, well, if they like it, then we're certainly going to get that market. Filmed in front of 10,000 screaming fans at the Birmingham National Indoor Arena, Gladiators was produced on a scale British television had never seen before. Once it was on the air and everybody saw it, they went, wow, and it became this incredible, sensational show. Overnight, the gladiators shot to fame, and everyone had their favourite. I used to love it, and I used to love to hate all of the gladiators, apart from Jet. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Remember Jet? Yeah. Dark hair? Yeah. She was like a beautiful, muscular stallion, romping around, doing dressage on a Saturday night. Tell you I love. Who? Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> dark hair, long hair. Long, long it's dark the same hair. thing. <laughs> it's extra muscles. <laughs> Each week, members of the public took on the gladiators in a series of gruelling challenges and battles. They sort of fought with huge cotton buds. There was one where they fired tennis balls at each other with a cannon. The obstacle course at the end, and then up the travel lately, you're like, oh, I'd have a go at that. 
and they go down the bottom, they uh, almost throwing up, and they go, OK, I've got to do this, everyone's watching, and they just make it to the top. That was a fabulous kind of triumphant moment. In 2000, ITV's gladiators down their pugil sticks and hung up their lycra. <laughs> so, 15 years on, whatever happened to Hunter? Jet, Wolf and those original gladiators? To find out, we sent former host Ulrika Johnson back to that famous arena in Birmingham where the show was filmed for a trip down memory lane. Where the atmosphere is incredibly tense. Well, for me, this is really, really nostalgic because Gladiators was a huge part of my life. I haven't been back here since, I guess, it must be 1999, so it feels very strange. Very strange. Ulrika had risen to stardom as a TVAM weather girl. How are you, Ulrika? It's absolutely. Freezing. Before Gladiators teamed her up with ex-footballer John Fashionu. In what was to be a daunting baptism of fire on Saturday Night TV. Wow. When I first walked into the arena, um, I just remember blaring out into the arena was, we will rock you. And there was, you know, the smoke, and there was huge people with muscles in lycra. It made me feel terrified. Helping Ulrika keep the gladiators in check was a former school teacher who became one of Saturday Night Telly's most unlikely stars. Our referee is John Anderson. Contender! Ready! Highly respected Olympic team coach. Now aged 83, John still coaches some of our top international athletes. How are you? Haven't seen you in years. Well, as I live and breathe. <laughs> it's me, it's, it's me. You. <laughs> oh, so who better than John to introduce the surprise reunion we have in store for Gladiators fans everywhere? Gladiators! Ready! Please welcome Lightning! <laughs> A somersault. <laughs> Gladiator's longest serving female star, Lightning, was the alter ego of gymnast Kim Betts. Since the show ended, Kim has run a range of businesses, including a farm and a beauty parlour. Jet! Oh, here she comes! Ant's favourite, Jet, was forced to retire from Gladiator's after suffering a neck injury. Though it looks like she's still got those tray bar moves. Diane Udale has found a new life as a psychotherapist. Ace! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Warren Furman beat off 60 other contenders to become Gladiator Ace. He's still got the guns, Luke! Yeah, he's got the value! After hanging up the lycra, Warren became an evangelist and now teaches others about Christianity. Let's welcome Hunter! Hunter, a.k.a. bodybuilder James Crosley, made the headlines for his off-screen romance with Ulrika. Well, looks like they're still friends. Oh, dream boat. <laughs> 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 All right, After Gladiators, James tried his hand at acting. Can't see those famous blonde locks, but he's still got a golden smile. Saracen! There's only one! There's only one! Gladiators, Mr Nice Guy. In real life, Saracen is firefighter Mike Lewis. He made a recent comeback in Ninja Warrior. Oh, last but not least, I guess we've got to bring him out. Let's hear it for the Wolfman! <laughs> yes, we couldn't forget the man who for eight years was the bad boy of Saturday Night Telly. Oh, my God, look at that. That is amazing! I've got something for you. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Wolf, real name Michael Van Wyck, has flown in from the other side of the world. Now 63, he runs a chain of gyms in New Zealand. He's a pussycat, really. You just got younger. <laughs> How's that even possible? So our gladiators are assembled, and being back in the arena for the first time in 15 years is bringing back some amazing memories. I'm just looking at how high the, the ceiling is and. 
Imagine yeah. running around Skytrack all the way up there many years ago. I don't think we'll anybody's going to do it now. now. No. <laughs> in a million years. The wall, of course, was over that end of the and arena. The and the pyramid. pyramid. But we could be shouting our names out, we'd come out, and 10,000 people would yeah. just erupt. Ace and Hunter! When you're facing this twosome, the prospect is gruesome. So while the rest of the gladiators were lapping up the adulation of the crowd, what was it like being Mr Nasty? Quiet! Why do you keep picking on me every shot? Wolf, Wolf, can we have a chat with you? I was the oldest one coming in at 40 at the show. I, was, I just wanted to do something to be separate from them because it was all, you know, they were so great. So I said to the producers, I said, can I be bad? Oh, that was out of order. We did it for one show and it kind of took off and it really went great, you know. I thought, oh, that's it, you know. Oh, he's ripping it down. Bust his brother Gary in a very uncomfortable position. It was fun, but it was like a pantomime baddie. You know, it wasn't bad bad, it was a fun baddie. You were scared. That's what we felt, so scared. There's certain things things. that you get remembered for, I think, you know, and each one of us has something different, like Wolf's got the, you know, the bad thing. (laughs) Go on, Wolf, give it some. I bounced around a little bit, and like him, did lots of somersaults. Oh, a double fly pass from Jet and Lightning. (laughs) I wouldn't bounce now, just shatter, uh, but just keeping the gymnastics alive because um, I literally feel embarrassed to go, they're looking at my bum, so I'm just going to run off. (laughs) Uh, I just did the finger. (laughs) Yay! They may no longer be part of our Saturday night entertainment, but for eight years the gladiators were living, breathing TV superheroes. Coming back in here brings back a lot of, a lot of happy memories. Yeah, nice <laughs> Some crazy ones that. as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the best things about Glass is that it catered for grandparents all the way through to grandchildren. You know, it was good clean entertainment. Um, there was no bad vibes. It inspired them, especially on the fitness side. And the whole family could grab their popcorn or whatever they want, sit down, and they could all enjoy it as a family. How Saturday night became the weekly date night in our TV diaries. We want to see two people go off into the sunset. We celebrate the stars who made a great impression on us. Good game, good game, yeah. And are these the best Saturday night double acts ever? You You little little liar. Popcorn time next on ITV. Matt Damon's on the run and out for revenge in the Bourne Supremacy. Whilst on ITV Encore, Sheridan Smith stars in our drama based on the woman who married Ronnie Biggs. And for a slice of real life, next on ITV B tonight, Kendra on top as she heads to Nashville to film a music video.